In other news, on Monday, Kenya's Amina Mohamed comes up in an election to contest the chairmanship of the African Union Commission. And she says she is confident the seat will come to Kenya. KTN's Duncan Hayamba reports from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Well, it's a day to go before Monday's election of the new AU Commission chairperson. Elections that will be very historic, particularly for Kenya, given that Foreign Affairs CS Ambassador Mida Mohamed has thrown her hat in the ring. Are you confident about the success of uh, the candidate of Kenya, Amina Mohamed? Well, we're, what I'm saying is we're very hopeful and we're going to work very hard because we believe she is the right candidate, she has the right credentials, she has the right attitude, she is a Pan-Africanist, and... Uh, her experience, I think, would go a long way towards helping the African Union Commission uh, achieve the new reforms that, as you know, we're going to be discussing as part of this particular summit. However, there is a new twist that has emerged that is now throwing the entire lobbying process into confusion. The Kingdom of Morocco has applied to join the AU as the 55th state, a matter that is now confusing teams that had lobbied specific members a neighboring country to the Kingdom of Morocco, Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, has vehemently opposed that Morocco should not be allowed to join the AU at least as of now. Of course, we had to ask CS Amina Mohamed what the inclusion of Morocco might mean to the entire voting process. You no, know, it's an issue that uh, has to be discussed by the heads of state. Mm -hmm. And I think we should allow them the space uh, to actually discuss it and agree a way forward on it. Be that as it may, intense lobbying continues. Recognizing the fact that the East African region has never had an opportunity to have a chairperson of the commission. So I think those are mitigating facts that uh, should work strongly in favor of Kenya's candidate. But for Kenya, it seems the election is very critical given that it has invested a lot of time, resources and lobbying to ensure that Ambassador Mohammed carries the day. Uh, we have considerable support. We have considerable support, but as you know, you need a two-thirds, a majority to clinch the, uh, the position. Well, we will be keeping an eye to see the last-minute effort and campaigns or lobbying, if you like, that will be taking place on Sunday. Duncan Hemba, KTN, from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.